We're driving our camper van from Alaska to Argentina and arrived in Mexico last week to begin the next chapter of this huge road trip. This week, we bring you along for an intimate and uncut glimpse into van life in Mexico. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Oh, I'll tell you what we haven't told everyone yet. last week we ended saying are we gonna get trapped here again or are we gonna leave and as you can probably guess we got trapped here again didn't we yeah we've not left we were here last back in february for we originally wanted to stay for three days and we ended up staying here for three weeks how can you leave when the sea is literally like what 20 foot from the van there you go. the sea is 20 foot from the van you just wake up to the sound of the pelicans, literally right outside, just catching fish. The occasional air break from the lorry, like going down the hill. But honestly, this place is paradise. Go, 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 go. The fish, the fish lady's here, guys. The fisherman's here. They bring like fresh fish and fresh prawns. They sell out of their cars. Go, 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 go. I'm going, I'm going. She's not here for like three days. <laughs> Every morning, locals come by selling everything from handwoven blankets to empanadas, fresh ceviche, and homemade banana bread. But our favorite is the earliest one of the day, the fish lady. Right, this is why I love it here so much. We've got, you see that huge bag of fresh sea bass, all filleted and everything. And then this huge giant Whoa. bag of fresh, like giant prawns. Both of that for 20 quid. That's really good. And I can use those for fishing bait now, yeah? No, they're to go in my belly. Thank you very much. Honestly, there's no need to leave this place. Welcome to our little slice of Baja paradise. We have decided to stay here for Ben's birthday, haven't we? We have, yeah. It was going to be too much of a drive, wasn't it, to get to Cabo? Cabo would have been a massive drive and we'd have been in a little apartment in the city centre or this is a really special beach to us and look at it, I mean, for $10 a night, it's we've got beautiful. like world-class it? views, it's incredible. So yes, we're here and the pelicans are really close today. You go and join it's time them. for my morning swim anyway, so I'm going to go see if they think they'll fly away. I reckon, yeah, or you'll die by pelican. <laughs> you trying to say I look like a fish? <laughs> yeah. Their beaks look extra big when you just close. <laughs> like they don't attack. Above me, and I thought they were gonna sweep me. <laughs> they thought I was about to dive on my head, I was a bit scared then. I'm not gonna do that again, I'm gonna use this pelican blind. That was a bit close for comfort. When we were here in February, it was freezing cold, but the water now is like a bath and it is crystal clear. When the tide is high, it is just like having a private swimming pool. <laughs> oh, he's so pleased with yourself, that way. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you said like the silent panic in your eyes then. Who remembers when River was a tiny pup and she was struggling to cross puddles and now look at her. Okay. You just swim out to sea. I'm just starting to get everything ready for Ben's birthday tomorrow. We've got this huge corner of the kitchen. It's just full of snacks and crisps and rum and coke and wine. We're gonna write a little party tomorrow night, but I think he's a little bit gutted that we're not partying up somewhere on the mainland for Day of the Dead, which is what our original plans were. We just really didn't have the time to do that. I asked on Instagram for people to send in a video like little video birthday messages for Ben. I've asked our friends and family and I'm gonna put it in one big video for him. <laughs> I have to make sure he's not here. Um, and tomorrow, so that he has all these lovely birthday messages from the people that he loves and from you guys as well. And I'm sorry that I couldn't ask for it anywhere else by Instagram, but it's the only place that I could block Ben's personal account so that he couldn't see that request. But I've also got a little collection of treats to make a little treasure hunt tomorrow morning. We've got a box of Ritz crackers in here, Aaron and Mimi, that's an honour of you. Got a bottle of tequila, some bananas and Oreos. Oh, I've got some new fishing lures, which are meant to be really good for the fish here. And like a marine guide, so he knows like what fish he's catching. And what I'm gonna do is I've somehow got to edit that video today. I've somehow got to hide this I'm going to leave little clues with each one. I have to probably do this tomorrow morning. And then the final thing that he finds is my laptop ready for the video to play with all the birthday messages. <laughs> yeah, look at this. We've got our favourite tortillas. If you remember, last time we were here, we ended up having about 70 of these. We counted them. We just kept buying more and more. We found some crack and rum, Ben's favourite. It actually comes with tequila as well, but um, a bottle of... Coke, we've got crisps, like so many crisps around, cookies, little jam tart things, for starters, stuff for guacamole, just you know, the works, the works. Am I going on my first holiday with the girls to, to Tenerife for Magaluf? Is well, that I, I almost got you Malibu, so you oh might be. Oh my god, Jesus, I drink a so, suntan lotion. But, well, first of all, you like pina coladas, so I thought you might like Malibu, but I've never seen you drink Malibu, so I didn't. But you do, that was the only dark rum they had, the only one. Oh, if so I'm honest, I got we should have got stuff to make pina coladas. That'd be quite oh, nice, yeah. wouldn't it? But anyway, then I found Kraken with, an, with a bonus bottle of tequila, well, so I thought that no was better. There's no such thing as a bonus bottle of tequila. There's no such thing. We're at the beach. 20, what, 29 degrees? 29 degrees today. And we haven't had banana pancakes yet, so we're having our inaugural banana pancakes. Flip. One, two, three, flip. Oh, it's, it's sticking to itself. That's fine, where's your plate? Cheers to the beach. I've already eaten my pancakes, guys, because I don't like mine going cold. Oh, no. <laughs> and Chester's is still there. Uh, I'm rubbish on that. You got a perfect bag? Uh, yeah. Just wanted to go and chase a rogue plastic bag that was blowing out to sea. One of the many things I love about you, baby, for rubbish collecting skills. <laughs> oh, I tell you what we haven't told everyone yet. What is that? What happened? Why Ben isn't out fishing on the kayak? It's a, it's a sore, sore subject. Ben was inflating the kayak, all ready to go out. And then I heard this, Psh, oh no. And then I heard, poof. Pumping up the kayak. And I didn't over inflate it before anyone says anything. As I was pumping, it went, <laughs> and look. It's split. It's just completely blown that out. Right along the seam. It wasn't even, yeah, fully inflated. It wasn't even fully inflated. I was doing it by hand. 
Yeah, we've got like this really basic. Basic? Um, I'd be easier to blow up my mouth. <laughs> very basic hand pump. I'm out there wrestling a big fish, and it goes. And I don't know which one's more believable, wrestling a big fish or it pops out there. But yeah, to be fair, I could have been out there and it could have popped. How bad yeah. would that have been? I'm not impressed, Challenger. We've had their kayaks before and it was great. But we did. We had the two. We had the two-man kayak before, and it was awesome. One thing we love about this beach is this whole mangrove area. So it's perfect for like walking the dogs. But it wasn't like this when we were here last time. Like, the tide never came in and covered all this. No, it's looking really flooded at the minute. Earlier on when it was high tide, all of this was underwater. This whole area is completely flooded. This was like bone dry when we came in February, which is winter, so you'd think yeah. it would be wetter then, but I don't think we're going to be in the mangroves today. No, these guys are not going to go for a walk around here, are they? It's completely muddy. This must get, when the tide comes up, this gets all covered over. It must be completely submerged. I wonder if they're having like high tides at the minute. Yeah, yeah, what, well, because of the time of the year maybe? I mean, maybe. This is our little day. dog walking spot, mm. but. Never mind. No, okay. Dog swimming spot by the looks of it. <laughs> Guys, I am in absolute love with this. I need a little bit of kit to add to our arsenal. It's a mini drone and we've got it from Hover who are sponsoring this week's video and this thing is absolutely amazing. Let's show you what it can do. It bridges the gap between like camera, tripod and drone and normally it's me getting excited about new camera stuff but we're both of us absolutely loving this. Look how safe this is. It's encased in one unit. The fans are all behind the plastic. I'm not going to take the tops of the fingers off. It's not going to take anyone's eye out and look how easy it is to fly. Firstly, it's got th five built-in functions. Hover, fly away, follow, orbit, and bird's eye. And then you can do a custom one as well, which we've not got to yet. So it's easy. This is how easy it is to fly. It's on, hover, press. Continue, hover. Look at that. My own personal photographer. Look at that river, there you go. And then when I'm done, just land it in the palm of my hand, still got all my digits, <laughs> and you close. How good is that, hey? How good is that? It's lightweight, it only weighs 125 grams, comes with this lovely, like, felt case. Beautiful. Came with two batteries, a charging block. So on the app, you can customize all the different flight options. It's really, really easy to use, but it is designed to use straight out of the box like I did then. Just press the button and off, it's go, off it goes. You download the footage off this onto the app or onto your phone via the app, and then you can send it, and I can send it to Chess because I'm gonna be doing all the filming of this. Because <laughs> you're not staring down at a remote, this is perfect for like when we're out hiking and doing all the hiking shots. Literally just set it off, on follow, and walk. So I can have a little mini videographer with us. <laughs> if you want to get your hands on one of these, the links in the description is literally a perfect, perfect Christmas present or a perfect early birthday present for me. Oh really? Yes. Mine now. <laughs> I doubt anyone has noticed, but we used to have a lovely rattan mirror up at the top, and now we've got this ugly white thing because this is exactly how Ben shaves his head and he left the nice rattan one in there and then slammed the door shut and it shattered everywhere. Yes. I've just realised! Maybe that's the reason It's why. you! All that bad luck that we've been having, it's your fault! Oh god, I've got another seven years of it! There you go. Thank you, baby. Ready for your birthday party. Ready for my birthday party. Woo woo!
Why are you in some sort of like gorilla power pose? <laughs> no scout's staring at something. I don't know. I don't know if he's staring at these rocks, but he's looking past it. But he's being focused from there, and he's slowly moved up here, watching. Where is it, buddy? What is it? Let's go. Look, see? Yeah. He's. He's like, get off! I'm doing my job. Simple. Yeah, <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Look, Scout, he'll go and sit in front of you. He'll get in the way. He'll make sure that he's between you and any harm. Mm -hmm. River's just playing with a ball. Oh yeah, River would let us all die if the coyote threw a ball for her. Wouldn't you, River? Hey? Sometimes a Scout gets freaked out by like plastic bags. So it could be anything but he will probably take Ben to what he's suspicious of. I don't know. He got over there and then just stopped. Um, Was it a false alarm, Scout? I don't know. It could be like a big bird or something. Well, there, 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 there is like what, like an oyster catcher type bird over there. Oh, that might so be it. it. Might be, that might be what he's watching. Guys, thank you so much for all your recommendations, things about books. There's just been so many. I'm reading The Midnight Man. Now, I believe it's a film. I've not seen the film, but once I've read this book, I'm definitely gonna see this film. This book is immense. The first, even the prologue, is like bang, 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 bang. And every chapter, I'm only on chapter 16, like ends on suspense. It's amazing. The Midnight Man by Caroline Mitchell. I'm loving it. Before I get engrossed in this, guys, I've just finished A.M. Shine, The Creeper. Awesome. I, I read The Watchers first. I really liked The Watchers. Chess found a plot hole and I was like, oh. No, I In fact, The Watchers was the first book I read recently that got me back into these type of books or got yeah. me into these sort of books. This, The Creeper, amazing. Really, really good. Really enjoyed that. So we're having fish wraps tonight with a fresh sea bass that we got this morning. Oh yeah. We've been looking forward to this, haven't we? For so long, yeah. Tacos. So is that hot? I think so. I had it on the... Um, what do you call it? Ceviche, last time we were here. Mm -hmm. So it goes well with seafood, so I'm going to try them. Mm. We're learning money now. Nothing out of the ordinary for you, oh, Alana. So we've just had this weird, um, like, hornet slash fly slash stinging massive, like, that big bug just like drop down out of nowhere fly around <laughs> and now and now we've lost it and i don't know where it is and i'm not gonna be able to sleep in the van knowing that that is in here it's like all legs and just my worst nightmare it was buzzing around the light and that... it dropped from the ceiling like cloverfield are you seeing cloverfield no. where is it <laughs> Where's it gone? Because I've got all the fucking curtains open. Just, 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 just stay still. Just stay still. Just stay still. What? Right. It was in my hair. No, no, it literally just flew into your hair. Have you got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> you moved something and it just came out of somewhere. That's what it was. <laughs> we've got that new bug net as well, but just with all the big drives we've been doing, we just haven't had a chance to put it up yet. And we made this stupid mistake of having our back doors open this evening, even though we've got the curtains up. Things can still easily get around them. There's no CMs everywhere. No wonder, I, if, honestly guys, if you could see the bias that I've got on me, I'll show you tomorrow. I'm having to use this CeraVe Itch Relief Cream. Had this in the States, it was like $15 when I got absolutely ravaged in Florida. And it's like, yeah, an external analgesic. It's got like some like, Promoxine Hydrochloride. Anyway, it's amazing stuff. It stops the itching, but I'm just absolutely ravaged in little bumps everywhere. Oh, no. 
count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right. That's what I mean. They're so tiny, but they're flying by. Yeah. There's like 14 on there. What's that? Oh, it's just a nail. It's a nail. <laughs> <laughs> Things have calmed down in here a lot now. <laughs> the stress of the weird bugs is over. A few of you were asking about this cup um, when I put it on my Instagram stories because if you remember when we were back in California I broke, the, the handle came off, I broke this mug but Ben doesn't like drinking out of metal mugs I don't know if anybody else is like that but um, so this has been sitting at the back of the cupboard so I've resurrected it so I've got the spare one so I didn't fix my cup but I did get another one I've just been getting on with some work and uh, Ben has got his nose buried in that book i'm getting what i can't put it down i'm getting, good. getting one word answers from him that's good it's really it's just it's too gripping to put down well last night be 30s yeah, i know oh god how depressing is that it's not depressing no is that recording yeah okay well i'm like half naked <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> can you like is that now you're 40, does that mean you've like reached the grumpy old man stage? Oh, don't just... wind me up, please. It's bad if I'm so 40, please don't wind me up. Oh my gosh, yeah. Can't fight it, just gotta go with it, I guess. <laughs> Better than the alternative. Happy birthday! Whoa, thank you, baby. Thank you. I don't feel like, I don't like Elton John. Everyone needs a pair of birthday glasses. Yeah. Happy birthday! How do I do it? I don't know. Don't point it at me. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> a mackerel. I caught two fish the other day. Have you know? I was going to attach it to your fishing rod. <laughs> Thank you very much, baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Where did you find that? I don't know. I just I opened it and I was like grooving in the card aisle. Brum, brum, brum. I had to buy it in the back of it because I <laughs> could not open that in secret. Can you imagine? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Lordy, Lordy, look who's 40. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> ben is just on the phone to his dad. I've got the presents and I've got the clues and I'm gonna hide them all around the van and then the final clue is gonna be the laptop with the video message on it. Thank you to everybody that has sent it in. I think it's also, it's like over 20 minutes long. Um, I really, really hope he likes it. I'm sure he will. But anyway, I'm gonna go and hide these now. Clue number one. The next one is the plates. So I need to hide whatever's next with the plates. Okay, we're all set. The suspense is absolutely killing me. The suspense? Start the fuck off. Oh, look under the pillow for clue number one. Oh, here we go. Anything in here? Okay, interesting. He's gone for the cushions, not the pillows. What's the difference between the... Cold. 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 How are you missing the most basic pillow? Oh, yeah, our bed pillows. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Oh my word! Oh no! <laughs> these are this is breakfast. Oh, where did you find these? The day you were born is the one of the best dates. Find your next clue where we keep the plates. <laughs> oh. oh! I saw these. I was like, oh. Oh really? Yeah. You're another year older, time flies by, find the next clue where we put things to dry. Ah, oh, yes! Oh wow, thank you baby. 
You want more clues? Look at your shoes. <laughs> oh! <gasps> what is this? Proper tequila. Oh Jesus, is it? You can't turn 40 in Mexico and not have a bottle of tequila. No, that's very true. It's your birthday, but don't grow up too soon. The next clue is what you find. Where? Is where you find the spoons. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh, is this like... Oh, that is... Oh, that's really... That's really good. Thank you. The Marine Guide to Pacific Coast. Let's mark off the ones I've not caught. Holy shit, babes. You don't want to catch anything up there? Oh, we got a magnet as well. To celebrate Mula Hay. Ah, yeah. Let me put this on the... There we go, look at that, hey? Okay, you've done so well. This is your last clue. Look in the front where a surprise is waiting for you. I've got to go round. Friends and family might be far away, but lots of love is sent from the heart. Happy birthday, my love. I know that you would love to be with your friends and family um, and because you can't, I have brought them to you as best as I can. Love you. Hi Ben. I'm trying not to cry, <laughs> but I hope you have a lovely birthday and I'll see you and speak to you soon. Lots of love. Happy birthday Uncle Ben. Happy 40th birthday Ben, we hope you have a super day and wherever you are in the world, you're celebrating. Happy birthday, happy 40th birthday Uncle Ben, hope we're going to go. Uh, happy fun, love you, bye. Happy birthday, bye. bye. You're 40 now. That's uh, that's really old. But I say I love you and happy birthday. Uh, just remember, life begins at 40. And the other thing to remember is, do not, do not lock yourself in the That was the funniest thing, one of the worst funniest nights I've ever had. Old and bold. Old and bold. <laughs> there we go. One more guy wants to say happy birthday. River hippies. Here he is, he main catch, man. He catch a lot of fish. <laughs> Fun today, you two. Uh, I've got so many good memories with you guys. So much love. And most importantly, peel the avocado. <laughs> peel the avocado. <laughs> 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 Hello Ben. No way! Mark here. Good Mark. Um, I just wanted to wish you the very best 40th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I had to say it to you. Oh, I love you guys, you are absolutely amazing and I hope you have a fabulous <laughs> birthday. Enjoy, love you. Bye Ben. Thank you so much, Ring. That was that was amazing. Thank you. Love you. Mm. Oh, that was amazing. I had to block you off all the Instagram stories. I was out. I said, "Why come on?" I need to bring my mum back because I know she, that's who just rung me. I had no idea. Like, thank you so much, and thank you to everybody who sent messages in, it was very overwhelming and lovely to hear and see, especially on such a, a monumentous <laughs> milestone in my life so far. Yeah. Thank you, I really, really, really appreciated it, thank you. As we've said, this little spot is almost perfect. We have got turquoise crystal clear water, white sand beaches. We've got our little corner of the beach that we had before with our little palapa, but it is just missing something that we had last time. What are you doing? Oh, babe, come and look at this. 
<laughs> Everyone, look who it is! Doesn't it look just like him? <laughs> it does. Oh my god, just call me Picasso. Well, it looks like Picasso. <laughs> I can't get over Chris's, it is just fucking a masterpiece. <laughs> Everyone, guys, Chris, Marianne, I thought you were meant to be in Korea. What are you doing here in Baja? Marianne, you've been in the sun so long, your hair is bleached blonde. I mean, you're still looking fabulous. Chris, you look amazing. <laughs> I can't get over <laughs> how much. The Chris Stone looks like Chris. Everyone meet Chris and Marianne from Tread the Globe, or as Ben says now, Tread the Stones. The last time we were in this spot on this beach was with Chris and Marianne from Tread the Globe, our very, very, very dear friends. We're a little bit quieter than normal guys, but you know, thank you. This place would not be the same without them. I've made your famous guacamole. Do you want a bit? Tastes good though. What are you watching? A seagull. It looks like it's got one wing hanging down. Oh, that's still recording. Store. Are you sure? How much rum did you put in that? Just a little bit. I try not to put too much in. Oh, what about that? Less than that. Really? Yeah, probably half of that. <laughs> this is Fort Knox tonight, I'm telling you, after the trauma of yesterday. You've not seen the bites on my leg yet, have you? I look like I've got chicken pox, I'm not joking. Go on, spin around. Yeah, I, I, I'm not 100% sure where the... Alright, so, like all here, all here and I can constantly. see it on my lower back and on your lower back as well you have been ravaged last night all up here like on my sides yeah. and on my arms and on my boobs everywhere eaten alive aren't you eaten alive and it's not mozzies it's the noceums and they are the work of the devil I wouldn't even know that we're here, so I didn't have any spray on. This is all from like one or two nights. Yeah. I don't think I've been bitten since I've been putting the spray on, but... Um, Sprayed up tonight though, aren't you? Yes. I'm marinating in it. Let's go, is it nice? Are you dancing to the song? Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> No rum and coke, please, Barky. What do you want, sorry? Rum and coke, please. Rum and coke. You've got your own little bikini barista. I, I, I have indeed. <laughs> when we were in Washington and Oregon, they had the little coffee shacks. I think we showed one of them where you can just like pull in and get a little coffee. And some of them are called bikini baristas. I think people just serve you your coffee in their bikinis. We never did go to one, did no, we? No, we didn't. Okay. Oh, I got look. God. This is like this is like prohibition stuff. Yes. This is to stop. This is told you it's like Fort Knox tonight. Yeah. Thank you, baby. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. I don't know, guys. If you can see, look at all those no see but you can see them. Okay. So I'm in steak tacos. 
for someone's birthday. Thank you, Amy. I'm not gonna lie, these look legit. They these look, look really good. good. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, ah. Oh, I don't know what they're talking about. Is it there? Yes. Right, so it's a moonless night tonight and there is so much bioluminescence out in the water. If you don't know what it is, it's that phenomenon where like plankton in the water emits like this like light and it creates like this where the sea like sparkles like neon blue and green every time you disturb it. The last time we were here, we didn't capture it on camera, but we we experienced the bioluminescence here back in February and we went out on the paddleboard and it was amazing. And now we can't go out in it, but you can definitely still see it when the waves are crashing. Like, it's, it's awesome, all sparkling. isn't it? It's so magical. It's notoriously difficult to capture on camera because you need like pitch black to see it, but it's definitely there. We'll go and see it in a bit. Honestly, it's so cool. The best part is last time we are here, if you jumped on the sand, it like reverberated through and the fish like lit up, didn't they? Oh, you they did. The yeah, I forgot water. about that. Yeah, yeah. So cool. All right, cheers to 40 years, Whoa, baby. Thank you, baby. And you know what? It's so it's so still tonight. The past few nights have been so windy. There's no way we could sit outside and have a fire and stuff. So this is like perfect timing. We've been very, very lucky for me. And we've got friends to share it with. Cheers, cheers Chris Marianne. Marianne. Cheers, Chris. They're not really saying much, are they? Normally you can't get them to shut up. <laughs> oh, I think you need to go to the funny part. Trust me, I think he had a bit too much rum last night. I think he's feeling a little bit worse for wear. Marianne, your hair's blown off. Let's get you back, there we go. Having a nice chilled one this morning after last night. Probably feeling a little bit, a little bit tired, but we're all good. You know what, Ben is not letting on how little he has enjoyed turning 40. I would love for you guys who are in the 40 club and over to write in the comments like your best life advice and just help him along enjoying being 40. To me it's just another number, it's no different to 39, 37, 42. Would love to hear your life advice for those of you who've been there, done that, got a t-shirt. Okay guys, so it's turning 40, I have a new task on this trip and I will now be taking over the Sharpie. No, that is not true. <laughs> that is definitely no, not true. It might it's, be. It's definitely not true. There's been a lot of requests that I put the Sharpie down and leave it, so I, I will take the camera. A lot of requests that Ben doesn't touch the Sharpie ever again. Even though it's your birthday, you're not having special privileges. No, right, you come out this way, gorgeous. It's a bit too bright. So I haven't found a roadmap of the whole of Mexico yet, we will do, but this one of Baja, California will have to do for now. Oh, I hate doing this. Right. We crossed in in Tijuana and went to go and stay in the Valle de Guadalupe, which is the wine region of Baja, one of our absolute favourite areas of Baja. We then came back down, followed the coast road all the way down. But yeah, where do we go? God, it's long, isn't it? Tell yeah, you what, that's a long, long road. All the way down here. Yeah, that's Guillo Negro. And there, isn't nope, it? this is El Rosario. At this point, oh, yeah. we cross this huge, huge stretch of desert. And it's not very difficult to track this because it's just basically. There's just one main road, yeah, isn't there? All the way through the desert. It's actually crazy when you look at it, how little is here. all the way down to Guerra Negro, which is where Scout chased the coyotes. And then from there, you just hop across. I'm on the other side now. Oh my God. Look how big Baja is, right guys? It's, it's that, and then that, like I said, it's 20 hours top to bottom. So then from Guerra Negro, we just shot down here. And then here we are over on this coast now. And we are down here 
in Bahia de Concepcion. This is the bay that is one of the most beautiful parts of the whole of Baja. It is completely protected and it is just full of beaches like this, just dotted all the way down here. It's absolutely stunning here. And next week, we are heading down to La Paz, which is where we're gonna be getting the ferry over to mainland. So the next time you see us, we're gonna be getting ready to leave Baja behind for good and going across into mainland Mexico. How exciting is it's that? It's really exciting, isn't it? And we'll just say our last goodbyes to this little beach. It's been a beautiful spot, isn't it? Yeah, one of our favorites on the whole trip, I think. Yeah.